Hello and good evening. Well, actually, it's morning here now um, because unfortunately, I'm still without internet, without phone, without anything whatsoever. It seems like I cannot believe how awful it is without the internet, how used to it we get. Um, and I'm struggling on. So, so, what I decided to do today was I couldn't leave you with a chance of not being able to see these loveliness. So I thought we'll record it and then if it doesn't work this evening we've always got something to fall back on. So if you are hearing this, that's what happened. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with these gorgeous French window sets from the latest from John Next Door. And we've got a set of three things in the collection. So you've got these gorgeous French windows which have a variety of different um, ways that you could use it. So I'll be showing you some of those in a minute. So there's 11 dies in total in this package. And the actual window itself is approximately, um, does it say, I think it's almost seven inches tall because it fits quite nicely onto a five by seven, just about sort of thing, if you were going to cut it out. So yeah. It is a lovely, lovely thing. So we've got that for you. Then it comes with the accessory pack, which is, again, all the bits and pieces you could possibly need. You've got like a balustrade. You've got a um, plant pot with some uh, stems, would you call them? Trunks, I think, more, more like. Then you've got some lovely topiary trees, which go together really well. Beautiful lamp and, of course, couldn't be without it, little pussy cat. And then, well, I always say these are my favourite, and then we get another lot, and now these are my favourite. These are Sam's Corners. They are much bigger than we've ever had them before. Again, I will show you them. I've got so much to show you, really. Um, but there are four in here, two of one size, two of the other, beautifully delicate, and, well, they just fit on so many different so I've done a lot of prep for you so that you can actually see two lots done today. So let me now just get the die set through. So this one is the beautiful French windows and the accessory pack. So the French windows here, if I put that bit over there, that's all the French windows. And then all these little bits are the accessories. So as you can see, it's quite a large die because this is an A4 piece of card. And you've got lots of different ways you can use it. Um, you've got um, the outside line here. Oops, this outside line. So that would cut you an outer piece. And then you've got the sections to go in it, the beautiful sort of semi-circle one there. And a variety of different ones. You've got the bigger windows, the patterned. These pieces make it in so that it's an open window so that you would literally open out the flaps, which is very clever. And then you've got these little panels to put in little panels um, like that, or you have got little windows. Also well thought of. You've got the outer line, but you've got a non-cutting inner line here, so it's not got an outer line attached to that, if you see what I mean, um, so that you could extend it and do it, do it even more so. And then all these lovely elements that go with it, beautiful. I can even see this one here for Christmas and things, can't you? Beautiful. So I'm going to show you how I started to do one of my cards, um, but I have mostly done it and I'm going to finish it off with you. So what I did was I've taken, now I wished I had, but I didn't have a piece of card that was big enough to be able to do this on its own, but I didn't. So I've taken an eight by eight card blank and I've creased folded the um, two pieces in half. So I do have that score line, because my card should have been like that. I do have my score line in the middle. Now I'm virtually going to cover that up, so I kind of feel it's not too crucial. It isn't the ideal, but unfortunately I didn't have a piece of card that was an A3. So there you go. That's just how I've done it. Ideally, you'd have a card that was an A3, and then you would be scoring it at 10 centimetres that way, 10 centimetres that way, and then you've got your fold. But pretend that it is, okay? 
So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my windows onto the two front pieces like this. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to take my first piece. So this was the front of my card. I'm going to work on this panel here. And because I don't want to, if I put these pieces on, this is a cutting line. So it would actually cut that hole out of it. And I don't want it to do that. I want to cut into the card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this patterned piece here like that. And then I'm going to take one of my window pieces, my window panels, and I'm going to put that in there like that. So as I said, if I use that, that would actually cut that out as an aperture. And I don't want to do that in here. So I'm just going to place this onto my card. And I'm going to put some tape on. Oops. And I'm going to place it so that it is just a little bit inside, maybe half a centimetre from the top and the bottom and all the rest, and place that in place there. And then I'm going to position my um, half circle, a similar sort of position there as well, so that it is half a centimetre away from the edges, so that I've got that nicely into position. Then I'm going to get my plates. And I'm going to put my card so that it is right down the bottom so that all this piece here is hanging out the edge because if possible I don't want to get it all creased up. So I'm going to pop that down the bottom Oops, and then just run that through my machine. I'm just going to hold on to it as it goes through to make sure that we've got it there. And that is going to cut out this beautiful window pattern, but without cutting the solid window out. If you can see what I'm working on here, just a second. So let's take all these pieces out. See what I mean? So you've got that beautiful pattern and you've got that window effect going on there. So I'm then going to pop just this one back in again, try and line that up so that that's about even. And I'm going to pop that one through again. Again, I'm going to put it on my sheet so that it is hanging over the edge, and that way. other piece of the card won't be so um, marked because you know what it's like you do get them marked so let's just bring this through now you can do this for a welcome home card for a Christmas card for a I don't know what card and but today I'm going to make it into a wedding card so let me just take that sheet off there again pop that back into there and show you what I mean by the fact that we've now got that gated as such window and then the idea is that we do exactly the same on that side so we've then got an opening piece here and as I said in an ideal world you would have an A3 piece of card and then you wouldn't have that crease however I've covered up the crease so I would do that twice, and I have brought in this stamp set, um, paper set, which is by Stamperia, which is called You and Me. So it is a wedding one because it just lends itself to this, and I'm so pleased with how this one is actually has turned out. Now I say that because the original is sitting in a sorting hub. It really hasn't been my week, has it? Is sitting in a sorting hub somewhere on its way to John, but um, it's been sitting there for over a week. So it's having a nice little holiday then. And I just couldn't not do the second one here to show you how lovely this can be. So the papers that you've got from here, all sorts of things. 
and yes I've cut them about but it just kind of works so let's bring in what I've done so far so what I've done so far is I've taken the happy couple I've bordered it onto some antique copper card and taken just this sheet which I think is rather yummy in itself and now you can see the beauty of our windows then I'm closing them up and we've got some embellishments to put on the front here and what I've done to start off with is I have cut out from one of the other pieces of card some of the roses that go on the actual with the pattern so I've put them around the top of the windows then I bring in some of these that I've already cut so these are the embellishments so you have got the topiary trees in two sizes you've got an outer piece and an inner piece which cuts out all the little leaves and I'm actually going to stick the two of them one on top of another okay so I'm just going to bring in my spray That is going to go on top of that one there and I've also cut out another one so I'm going to do the same with that and that's going to go on top so that I've got two topiary trees okay then I've got my um, beautiful Stems, branches, they're not a branch, are they? I don't know what you call them. And I'm sure you're all yelling at me what you call them. They are sort of trunks, but trunks seems too big a word. Does that make any sense? Not really. Not really, I should say. So, here we are. Now, make sure I've got the trunks. Was in a safe place. Here it is. Two of those. And then I've cut out some of the little plant pots. And again, I've cut them out from more of the card in here. And I'm going to give them just a little bit of a bend around because I want them to look as if they are curved. And I can add some foam to that to give the impression of that's what they are. So I've just curved these round. So now, had a, yet another minor disaster in as much as um, I dropped the lid of this um, bottle somewhere. I've searched everywhere. No, nah, can't find it. So <laughs> I'm going to pop that down onto there, just gluing, oh, sticking everywhere, just gluing the very top part of it and that one on here as well so just these top little branches right. and then I'm going to bring them over here and they are going to go and because they're all from the same color palette if I was to put on bright green ones here, which would be sort of like the thing one might do, they just wouldn't look right. So they're going to go on there like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my bit of foam that I'm going to put on the back. And I'm going to trap the um, bottom of my tree. Sure, I've got it around the right way because I haven't at the moment. I need to go and do that now. I'm going to trap my tree on that bit of foam as well, so that that's another sort of way of, of sticking that down. So I'll turn that one around again and just pop my bit of foam onto the back. Whoops, and trap that tree root on the back here. And then I'm going to bring those over now. Obviously. We're going to have to be a bit careful. I haven't put acetate on the back of these. By all means, one could do such a thing, but I haven't done. 
but therefore you do need to be just a bit careful about where you're going to put the glue of your trees because otherwise it's going to poke through into the windows and you don't want it to be stuck on the other side. So I'm just going to, for the moment, put a little bit of glue on that side there. I know that that will fit. Just hanging on that edge and just sticking on that edge there as well. And then the same with here, a little bit of glue on this outer edge. And again, if you put acetate or something like that on there, it'll be absolutely fine um, to be able to stick on a bit better. But acetate takes a little bit longer to dry and therefore. Okay, so you've got this look going on here. Oh, I might add a little bit of green to that bit as well. We want both bits to stay. Stay stuck. Lovely. Now, you may have noticed we had some little pussy cats, which I think are so cute. So, what I'm going to do with those is I want to cut a couple of cats out. But again, if I was to put in black cats or something like that in here now, it would show up a bit too much. And some of the patterns on here, if I was to use some of these patterns, you can't get a, a flowered sort of cat, can you? But if you look at the back of here, I can see some space of solid colour which would fit in because it's the same colour as all this card. And although it happens to be just a tiny little bit, we really don't need very much, do we? We only need enough to fit these little cats on. So one can fit there and one can fit in there. So I'm just going to trim a little bit out. And this is just where the wording goes. And I don't know if I could possibly get these both in here, could I? Uh, yeah, where there's a will, there's a way, eh? So both of the cats can go into here. So that's just literally from a scrap of the piece of card here. So let me just pop these through. Let's see how they turn out. You may not want cats on the wedding, but if if your bride is, is very much a sort of cat person, then they will be absolutely ideal. So you can see now, oh, cat jumped off. There's two little cats. <laughs> Naughty cat. Oh my goodness. Jumping about. There you are. There's the little cats. And again, as I say, because if they were black, they would sort of take your eye away from everything. But if they're that same colour, they are the naughtiest cats ever. Because they keep on moving. Let's get you stuck down there, Mr. Pussycat. So he's down on that little corner. I'll show you all in a second. And I think this little one is probably going to sit on top of that pot. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue just onto the bottom there. Enough to give him to be able to sit there. Not a dog, but never mind. 
so there you go a very quick way oh and then cut some little butterflies because she's got I have got to have a butterfly haven't I? I don't know if he's going to get lost but I just fancied a little butterfly this uh, was actually just in the pattern and I just thought he was right lovely so just in the pattern of the book and there you've got it they um oh it's brilliant right in the cups so there is your gate folds with all of your lovely things and i think it makes a lovely oh that's all right <laughs> a, a lovely uh, wedding card with your folds and that so that's that one that's with the french window set and also the accessories which gives you the trees the cats the flower pots the tree trunks um, we haven't used them but you've got the lanterns as well so that is that one and then we'll do a very quick one with this one so I've got here a five by seven card and I'm bringing in some Michaelmas daisies which I've already made up here in the colour of grape going to put a bit of a matte and layer so I'm going to cut out some of that layer so let's just trim that down so we'll measure it in centimeters so in centimeters we've got a piece which is 17 and a half by let's have a look 12 and a half so I'm going to do 17 by 12 as my Get a straight edge to start off with. Start off with a non straight edge, can't we? So 17 by 12, and that's going to give me my first layer. And then I want another layer of white cards. Which is 11 and a half by 16 and a half, just giving me. just giving me that white layer okay so let's put those two layers together that just gives me that little bit of a border like so so let's just put that together i think these corners sam's corners are just us oh, so delicate, absolutely beautiful. So that's the first layer going down, and then my white layer. So the flowers that I've done, they are, as I said, the Michaelmas daisies, but they happen to be in my pot of flowers that I have, that I make up, and I think, oh, do you know what? I don't actually need them, so I'm not going to use them. But they're ideal for this sort of thing. So here are my Sam's Corners, as I said, and I'm going to take just the two largest ones, these two at the moment, and pop them onto a piece of card. I'm using the um, grape colour as well. And I'm just going to... Oh, these just make squares and on their own. And oh, The minute I saw them, I thought, yes, please. I do like them. So I'm just going to run them through the machine. This is just such a quick card. Just run that through. And you can see that they come out beautifully delicate. There's one and there's the other. So let's just take So delicate, so beautiful. So I'm going to put one up in that corner and I am going to spray it just for quickness but um, one up in that corner, yeah, 
So let's just spray those and get them into place. The other um, dies in this set are slightly smaller. Now, in order to get these straight, just thinking about that, whoops, I've got really sticky fingers. In order to get these straight, you need to be looking at this corner. Is this corner in line with the other corners? And then it's these lines that are the ones that you want to keep straight. And then your swirls and bits and pieces kind of find their own way. So again, I'm looking to see if this corner is in line with these corners. Once it is, holding that down and then going straight. So we've got those two, those two corners there. I've cut out some um, leafy sprigs. You know what I'm like, I get it wrong. I think we'll go with that like that. So that one's going to go down here. So let's just pull off. Oops. And I'm not going to put, as always, I'm not going to put glue on every part of this, just on bits and far too much. going to go in that corner and then I'm going to put that leafy sprig like that. So I'm not actually touching the corners with that one. Then I'm going to get my pins out. Let's go for a walk as well. I'm sorry, it's gone for a walk and it's gone to the back of the queue because it says I do not want to work anymore. <laughs> right. Let's get my spatula and pop these flowers into place. Now, obviously, I do want to cover that one, but I've got my large one here, and I've got some small ones amongst everywhere as well. I think that looks quite good like that, to be honest. So I'm just going to add that. All I did was cut out the Michaelmas daisy and I have added a clear dewdrop to the centre. And then I'm just popping them into there. And then at the top here. Just going to pop it there. Now I haven't added a dewdrop to these little tiny pieces. Um, I'm thinking myself maybe just an ordinary little crystal might do the trick there. Such a sticky finger, I haven't I? Come on, Michael. Right, I'm just going to turn that back around. Right. Oh. There we go. 
so that sort of fits with it being like that then I have got already cut out a sentiment to go onto that and we've got just a note going to come in like that so a really easy especially if you've got some flowers that are already done but how beautiful the Sam's corners Sam we love you they just finish off that I think just beautifully so we can probably take a little while to set that but yeah so there is our second card using Sam's corners and let's bring in our other one again our lovely French window set with a happy couple inside like that. So, two for today, a two for the price of one, albeit that you couldn't chat live as such online. So I do apologise for that, but come over and chat on Maximum Crafts Facebook page instead. Or don't forget, chat at the bottom of this, because that would be good. Don't forget, we always like you to share and subscribe to the channel so that we can bring you even more every week. So thank you so much for joining me. If you would like any of the products that we've used today, they're available over on the MaximumCrafts.com website. And I will be back on um, Sunday, which is the 5th of March 2023, and I'll be bringing you the March card kit at 11 o'clock. So I do hope you can join me then. And by golly, I do hope I've got internet by then. So take care till then. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.